I need someone to help me figure out how to test this tyre. Ah, perfect. Andre, the Julian. best test driver at Goodyear. We've just got to wait for my influencer friend to turn up. Hopefully he's here in the next few minutes. Who knows? Apologies chaps, apologies. The journey from Montpellier to Miraval was an absolute nightmare. But look, I've got some presents for you, so let me see what I've got for you. You just press that button. That's the one, yeah, if you press that. Hey! Mon pneu et mon ami, et je l'aime bien sûr, mes genoux, s'il vous plaît. Okay, I, I, I think he gets it. And he's hitting the apex, he's coming smoothly out of every corner in a way that most SUVs simply wouldn't do. He's really chucking it in here. So there's three main pieces of engineering in this SUV tyre that shows how far Goodyear are pushing the tyre technology. The first is a really stiff tyre construction. That means that instead of flexing like an SUV might on its tyre, that weight's really putting pressure on the sidewalls of the tyre. Instead, it's going to stay nice and solid and the car is just going to keep on going in and out of the corners. It's going to stay stable. A cushion layer that's been engineered into the tyre. This allows the tyre to maximise its surface area on the road. More surface area means more friction, which means more braking force, and also more traction in and out of the corners. The resin that's been put across the entire compound of the tyre. That resin means that even driving down a country road in something as heavy and cumbersome as an SUV, you're going to maximise that tyre grip and maximise stability all the time. It's hitting every apex, absolutely no issue. So the SUV tyres tackled the dry handling circuit, but now it's time for the real test, the wet handling circuit. Goodyear's SUV tyre maximises its longitudinal grooves, acting as a water pump to displace as much water as physically possible to maximise the grip of the tyre. You can see it's carrying speed, but it's under control. The amount of water being displaced actually completely soaked. Time and time again, Goodyear is beating its competitors in both the dry and the wet. And now for the final challenge, we're going to do the tried and tested wet braking test. Hey! Andre's going to drive the Alpha 80 km an hour, slam on the brakes and hopefully stop in front of the competition. And here he is, just in time. My wine and cheese! Are you okay? I've saved you the best test to last. Why do I need this? What's nice this Nice and comfy. Right, this is, uh, what's, what's going on? I don't like surprises and... Who are you? Yeah, comfy. Right. What's this? What's this? Enjoy, Tom. Mike, who's he? Mike! Mike! Oh my lord. Um, there is a wall in front of us. So we are coming in slightly hot. Oh good lord, oh good lord! Oh! Well, that was close. My man Andre has absolutely nailed it. He stopped 1.2 metres from the wall. That's 1.2 metres shorter than the next best tyre in external testing commissioned by Goodyear. Goodyear have created a tyre that's managed to move the SUV into a car that you'd actually want to drive on the scenic route home. Well done, Andre. <laughs> foam, I knew they were foam. Right, Tom, I've left some good years for you back at the garage. I'll take this one. See you later. Which garage? Why is it always me that gets left behind? Come to the garage, they said. Look out for the good years, he said. Ha. Huh. Wait for me! 